Hello friends, let's talk about another interesting interface called as S6A. S6A interface is the interface between MME and HSS. As we discussed earlier, HSS always belongs to your home network, the network from where you got your SIM card. However, MME can be from a widgeted network, can be from the home network. In both the scenarios, MME never know anything about the user. So MME has no idea about the capability of the user, about the subscription of the user and the authentication information about the user. So what they need to do is whenever user is trying to access one particular network, the MME has to take the approval from the HSS and that approval is taken, taken care by S6A interface. So MME talks to HSS and finds out about the user everything by using S6A interface and what protocol we use on top of this is called as diameter. Diameter is also referred as AAA protocol and on top of that diameter is used as a base protocol. On top of that we are using some extension application and in this case the extension application is called as S6A application. So S6A application runs between MME and HSS carried over diameter kind of protocol. So this is MME to HSS interface and MME gets all the information about the subscriber that is related to handover, tracking area limitation, APN allowed, quality of service, etc. As well as HSS stores the UE's current location as particular MME in its database. So whenever there is some incoming information about the users, HSS can refer the MME, the MME information for routing that particular incoming data for the end user. So whenever there are incoming data, this is typically coming to HSS, HSS shares information about MME and then that data can be routed to that particular MME. So that is the purpose of this S6A interface, right? So that's all what we have in this S6A interface. We see you in the next video.